hello, 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 everyone. Cynthia, tell it, Miss Clippy, you're a gypsy medicine woman and you're a gypsy on the road. Yeah, somebody asked me why I'm doing my readings in the car all the time. Well, this gypsy, she's on the road all the time. <laughs> she likes, she can't stay in the house all day, that's all. And she takes her cards everywhere. And when she gets that itchy to do the reading, she just pulls over and pulls them out and does the reading. She listens to spirit, what does spirit have to say? So this reading has to do with the full moon in December. It is the cold full moon and it is in Gemini. And let's see, let's see what they have to say today. <laughs> what these people behind me are gonna do. Wow, it says the masculine, he's looking through his crystal ball going, hmm, I wonder what my feminine is doing out there. <laughs> And, and the feminine, she's looking at her new beginnings, her solid new offers, and they're all shiny and bright and wonderful and beautiful. <laughs> shiny and bright and wonderful and beautiful. This amazing, beautiful story coming forward. It, it's radiant. It's shiny. It's bright. It's joyful. It's gleeful. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> we could use some of that. <laughs> we got a, a wheel of fortune, too. Change is happening. Change is happening. <laughs> Because we're looking for change. We want change to happen. We keep looking for it. And guess what? We find it. <laughs> and the masculine's going, okay, okay. I saw in the crystal ball I'm supposed to do this. So now I'm going to get the map out. And I'm going to head towards that direction. Ooh, 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 it's about time. Head on over. <laughs> head on over. He goes, well, you know, I had to let go of some of those old emotional feels. You know, that dragon that's inside of me. I had to let go of them before I made my step forward, you know. Yeah, I had to make that step forward. <laughs> oh no, come on cards, don't be flipping all over the place now. <laughs> so I hope everybody's getting all ready for their holiday season and doing what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm staying home or if I'm going to go travel somewhere because I need to, um, sometimes I just need movement. Uh, just yeah, staying home. I got something to do on Monday, and I got something to do on Wednesday, and I could have something to do on Thursday too. <laughs> I could easily stay home. But this woman, she she if she could stay home and just feel a little blue, or she could go out there to where the cup of love is. There's two cups there, you know, somewhere to go celebrate, celebrate life, just celebrate life with with the cats and the balloons and the food and uh some sparkling cider because <laughs> she's done with all those old stories and not doing anything she says yeah those are her choices is does she stay back for love or does she go deal with the past of sadness or what does she do well she's going to make sure that she's feeling blissful no matter what she does she's going to make sure she's taking care of herself no matter what no matter what, she's making sure she is taken care of. Oh, and you know, I just said that, that a cup of spark, sparkling cider. Here she goes, well, I'll have my sparkling cider alone. If I don't have nobody to have my sparkling cider with, I'll just have it alone. <laughs> I think that's so cute. See here, there's a bottle here with two cups. And now there's a bottle with one cup. So <laughs> maybe the masculine's not going to make it to her before, before Christmas. <laughs> That's too sad. Yeah, there's some fun times. There's some fun times when those two hook up. That's right. Because I know, because the card's been telling me. Plus, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. What else is going on in this full moon? So you... Uh, she's still... So the masculine has been looking at that crystal ball, looking at he's got to make movement. That they're, it's like they are both going through. Well, there's a rebirth taking place. That means the old stories are being let go of. We are getting rid of those old stories so we can go into the new stories. What are the new stories? Those wishes and dreams that you've been putting out there. Those wishes and dreams that you've been talking to the universe and you've been telling people online, you've been telling people 
everywhere you go, what your wishes and dreams are. Those are the wishes and dreams that are coming forward as soon as these old stories of thinking that you can't have it or you're not good enough or nobody's good enough or, you know, keeping those dark stories there. We get rid of those dark stories to allow this bright beautiful story to come forward because what we have the sun shining in this reading we got brand new beginnings in this reading those brand new beginnings are solid beginnings they're bright beginnings they're they're um radiant they're joyful they're playful mm -hmm. and you every decision that's been made and laid out from the divine feminine has been made from the heart as the masculine is out there making plans to which direction he wants to go now. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's making plans. So he looked into the crystal ball. He saw which direction to go. He went and let go of some of those old um, emotional feels of the past, that, that dragon within. He went through a rebirth so he can actually start making these plans of the future. He says, okay, where are we going to go? He's got, his, he's got one of his cats here. He's got one of his cats here, good. Okay, the cat's going, yeah, well, I want to know where we're going to. <laughs> I want to know, want to know. Yeah, there's all kinds of things going on with this full moon. But I, I don't want to uh, mix it all up. And yeah, <laughs> There's all kinds of things that we don't know about that's going on in this full moon. Some things that are hidden might be seen during this full moon or just... just we just always uh doing a full moon in the card something's coming out that's been hidden and the divine feminine again she's there alone but she's meditating looking into the fire or maybe she's not actually looking she's meditating next to the fire where she's getting the heat she's getting the flame so she knows that she's being grounded. She knows that she's being secure. She knows what she's doing is coming from the heart. <laughs> it's always coming from the heart. Yeah, she knows. What? 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 <laughs> she brings strength to the lion. She brings that roar out so the lion can stand next to her. So they can be stronger together. Not on the inside where the roar is, but on the outside where they can gain momentum. They can gain strength. They can they can take care of those tornadoes in the background with ease. Look at they're just walking away like that tornado wasn't even going on. Yeah. We got the cats. We got a a, a cat on here sitting next to the lion too and that lion is licking her hand here mm -hmm. what do you want to tell the collective out there today whoa this is new beginnings in love and the deep beginnings in love or two still coming together it is a unity it is a uh it's divinely guided it is like a new beginning that is growing with this this beautiful it's like it's not like barely growing it is growing it's growing look at they've got the brand new plant growing here and it's growing with love it's growing with this uh unconditional love for two like so we have two aces on the table so we got beginnings in love and beginnings in being grounded and being whole and being complete oh those are the best well, they're all the best but <laughs> all, the, all the aces are the best okay okay so the divine feminine still standing on her own standing one foot with her eyes closed, knowing, and one leg, she's standing on one leg, knowing that she's taken care of. Oh, she only got one eye closed, but she knows that she's taken care of. Got everything she needs while she's standing there. Nurturing herself, nurturing others. She's a nurturer. The divine feminine, which is the empress in that picture, is the nurturer. Up there, nurturing the world. Nurturing the world from what? From those lower fields. From those 
feels that have been there. She actually went and rewrote her story. She'd been writing her story over and over. And she wrote her story until she could see the light out there. The birds showing her, hey, the light's out here. That's where the sun is. That's where the sun shines, where the happiness, the gleefulness, the playfulness. <laughs> Why? Why does she wait for the masculine to come on forward? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I had that pulled out. <laughs> it was on the bottom of the deck, so. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else for this full moon? <laughs> yeah, for the full moon, just, just keep doing what it is that you love doing. Keep investing in what you love because we have the lovers here. They're coming together. They want to sit there eye to eye, sit there across from each other, eye to eye, so they can tell their stories with each other. With this joy, with this happiness, with this glee, where everybody around them is happy that they finally got together. <laughs> so, well, what else, what else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Yep. Just sit, sit, keep sitting there in bliss, so like... Yeah, be in bliss. When you're out there by the ocean, go ahead and just soak in all that abundance that's coming forward, that abundance of washing away anything that's lack or less than and knowing all the emotions that you got are beautiful. They're stacking themselves up tall. They're stacking themselves up so you feel so grounded. You're feeling so like taken care of. You're taking care of so much that you can go out to the world and you can share your stories out to the younger generation and to the elder generation. And you're giving them lots of, um, you give them lots of hope. You give them a lot of solid ways of looking at life to bring this awesome, amazing balance into the way that they're looking at their story to allow them to flip their story around to what to better. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, flip that story around to better. Live from those happy vibes. Okay, okay. Are we almost done yet? Since <laughs> Live from those happy vibes. Okay. Why is this one flipping out here? Well, let's see. We, we do not have... We no longer have to... Let me see what... Hold on. Let me pull another card on that one. You get to tell your story. To the younger generation and the older generation and how you used to be outside and how you were looking in to actually make it to the inside <laughs> let's see you were, you're actually telling your story about when you were homeless you're telling your story when you felt less than you're telling your story about when you didn't feel like you could fill those cups with love you're telling your story to the older generation and the younger generation how you overcame that, how you flipped those stories around. Wow. How you laid those stories down to rest. Laid them down to rest. You're done with those older stories. You have all the tools. You lay down all those older stories, those stories that actually took your tools away, didn't let you utilize all the tools you have. But now that you've laid down those old, older stories and you put them down to rest, now you got all the tools that you need to make any forward movement that you want. You have all the tools. With cup, <laughs> you have all the tools for this Ten of Cups, for this beautiful relationship to be whole to be grounded to be complete within this loving amazing way this is another card look at the two of them look each other eye to eye and feeling so whole feeling so content so in, feeling like in amazement coming together to work together as a team divine masculine divine feminine coming together to work together as a team with their group they're helping them make this forward movement 
This is Cynthia Tella, Ms. Flip It, your Gypsy Medicine Woman and your Happiness Coach. Please remember to like and share and do subscribe. <laughs> and also, I have a TV hosting program that I host right here on YouTube. It's called Your Hidden Love Story, and it comes on every Monday night at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please come join us. It's been a fun place to hang out to rise, raise your vibes to a happy vibe by what? By flipping your script around to better. Have a wonderful day and have a happy full moon. <laughs>